Welcome to Golden Software's demonstration video for Digger 5 Part 6. In this demonstration, I will be covering the topic of using Digger to calibrate and digitize well logs and export the information to an LAS file. In this example, I will be digitizing and exporting two logs that use the same scale. The first step is to import and calibrate your log. I will be working with an image file of a well log that contains two log curves. Go to File, Import. In the Import dialog, navigate to the Digger 5 Samples folder. Select the image file welllogrdt.tif and click Open. In the Image Registration and Warping dialog, enter the coordinates of three or more points on a log in the reference X and reference Y columns. I will type in the coordinates for the four corners of the log, which will match the minimum and maximum extent of the log axes. The next step is to calibrate these points on the image in the Source Image window. You can use the tools in the upper left corner of the source image window to zoom in and zoom out on the image to be sure that you are calibrating the image precisely. I will first click on the zoom in tool and then click on the top of the log to zoom in. Then I will click on the select a calibration point tool and I will start calibrating my points. A nice new feature added in Digger 5 is the ability to zoom in within the source image using the scroll wheel on the mouse. You can select the Auto Advance Row Position checkbox to automatically increment your calibration points as you select them on the image. The first calibration point has a reference X of 20 and a reference Y of 0, so I will click on the log at that precise location. The second calibration point has a reference X of 220 and a reference Y of 0. I will click on that location on the image. The third and fourth calibration points will be at the bottom of the log, so I will scroll down to the bottom of the log and click on the corresponding points on the image. If your log is a simple linear linear scaled log, you can click OK to finish the calibration process. However, if your log has a logarithmic scale, you will need to specify the appropriate axis coordinate for the log. To do this, in the Specify Coordinate System area, select the option to specify the coordinate system and click the Coordinate System button. In the Assign Coordinate System dialog, leave the default setting for the coordinate space type to Cartesian coordinates. In the Cartesian Settings area, you can select the appropriate x-axis type and y-axis type to match the linear or logarithmic scaling of the log. You can also set the calibration units for the log, if appropriate. For this log, leave the x and y-axis type to their default linear settings. Set the calibration units to feet. Click OK to close the Assigned Coordinate System dialog. When you have finished setting up the calibration, click OK in the Image Registration and Warping dialog and the reference log image is imported. Once the image is calibrated and imported, the next step is to digitize the log. Go to Draw, Polyline, and digitize the interval transit time log indicated by the header DT or Delta T. For the sake of time, I am not going to take great care in digitizing the log accurately. If you were truly digitizing the log, you would want to zoom in and digitize the log more precisely. Click along the orange line to digitize the DT log on the image. Once you have completed digitizing the log, hit the Enter key on the keyboard or double-click the left mouse to complete the polyline. The digitized polyline will be added as a new object in the Data Manager. To name the log, click in the primary field and type DT to name the polyline. You can also use the Vectorize Image command to automatically vectorize the values for each of the logs based upon the log color. I will digitize the gamma ray curve, GR, using this method. First, select the image listed as the last object in the Data Manager. Then click the Image, Vectorize Image command to begin vectorizing the imported image. In the Vectorize Image dialog, set the vectorization scheme to default. I would also recommend that you use the Edge Detection method of Standard Object Thinning for use when digitizing this log. Set the Colors to Vectorize option to digitize based upon selected colors. Click on the black color box to select the color for the log you will be vectorizing. When you move the mouse cursor over the imported image, the cursor will change to a crosshair. Select the color you would like to digitize by clicking on the green log in the plot window. The color in the Colors to Vectorize area will update with the selected color from the image. I would also recommend setting the post-processing options minimum pixel length to 20. This sets the minimum number of pixels traced before a new polyline segment is created. Increasing from the default value of 10 will create longer and more continuous polylines. Once you have selected the colors in the vectorize image settings that you would like to use, 
check the box at the bottom of the dialog to create results on new layers. This will create a new polyline object from the digitized line. Click OK to vectorize the logs. After the vectorization is complete, new objects will be added to the layer manager for each log that was vectorized. These layers by default are given the name vector results. You will notice in the data manager that the digitized log contains many polyline objects depending on the complexity of the log. You will need to combine these objects into a single polyline object so that they are referenced as a single polyline in Digger. In the layer manager, right click on the vector results and choose the option to select all items on layer. Then use the Draw, Edit Boundaries, Connect Polylines command to combine the individual polylines into a single polyline object. It is also sometimes helpful to use the Draw, Reshape command to redraw areas of the log that were not able to be accurately combined with the Connect Polyline command. You can see that in this example, using Digger to digitize the log was much more effective in capturing the detail in the log curve than was my digitizing by hand. Using the image vectorize image command along with the draw edit boundaries commands should allow you to digitize your log much faster than digitizing by hand, depending upon how many edits you have to make and how long it takes you to do them. Once you have combined the digitized log segments in the data manager, enter the log name as the primary ID for the GR log. You can also add additional attribute information such as the log units, curve description, or other reference information in the secondary, tertiary, or quaternary fields. Once you have your logs digitized properly and combined into a single polyline object, you can export that polyline to an LAS file. To do so, in the Data Manager, select the polyline object that you would like to export. Click File, Export to export the log. In the Export dialog, navigate to the location where you would like to save the LAS file. Type the file name that you would like to use for the log. Set the Save As type to LAS Log ASC2 Standards, a .LAS file. If the Show Options dialog was checked in the Export dialog, the LAS export window will appear when exporting. This allows you to customize the settings for the LAS export. Click Save to export the LAS file and display the LAS export dialog. In the LAS export dialog, you can set the Well information in the Well Info tab and the Curve information in the Curve Info tab. Select the Curve Info tab. Enter the starting and ending depth, the step increment, and the depth units, and comments for the log. Click OK to save the LAS export information and export the LAS file. If you would like to see how the exported LAS file compares to the digitized polyline, you can use the File import command to import the LAS file and display it over the top of the digitized log. In the import dialog, select the GR digitized log.las file that was just created. Click open to import the LAS curve. This can be useful to troubleshoot the areas of the log that were not accurately captured when vectorized. You can see that the bottom of the imported log does not match the digitized image. Further editing of the LAS file would be needed to fix this log so that it displays properly. This concludes my demonstration video of digitizing well logs and exporting the log information to an LAS file. As always, if you have any questions, please contact Golden Software.